Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain, and today I'm going to be sharing uh, the top 20 free tweaks for April 2012. Uh, this is a uh, list I put together as I was going through looking over some of my notes for this year 2012, and I thought I would share some of my favorite free tweaks with you guys. And the first one I'm going to start off with is called Vuzik, V-U-Z-I-Q. And what it does is it allows you to make video uh, calls. Well, not video calls, but ringtones, video ringtones. And you can set them for certain people, or you can set certain songs for certain people. You can do it just really however you want to. And you can set up face, uh, to accept FaceTime calls and it'll play videos for those as well and it plays full screen video calls too and you download all of your calls right inside this application everything is right here for you to search for, from and it's very easy to use that's music up next is app slider app slider is a lock screen tweak and it's right here excuse me on my lock screen see this uh, phone and mod my eye that's coming from app slider and it's very easy to set up you go into settings and you can select any application you want for your first app anything for the second app and you can also put a passcode on it or you can bypass it and you can you can even put uh, if you have a passcode, you can elect to bypass it for the first app, the second app, or both. And you can have a camera application on as well. And that's called App Slider. Up next is called No OTA Badge. How many of you have seen that big red one badge right on your settings? Okay. And if you're not careful, you'll be downloading the new firmware and you and losing your jailbreak well you don't want to do that okay so what you need to do is is download this no ota badge and what it does is it will actually prevent you from having to look at that ugly ugly badge right here let me show you what it looks like here. There's really nothing to set up. You just simply download it. And what it does is it takes the one off of the uh, settings right here. And you don't have to worry about accidentally uh, installing the software and all that. That's called No OTA Badge. Up next is called notification center settings and let's go under the right here you got toggles you can turn on and off notification center all this is in notification center okay and I think if I'm not mistaken this top one up here is my IntelliScreen X, so that has nothing to do with the tweak. I think it's this one here. I've got so many bars on here, I get them confused. So you can set it up however you want it. Um, to be honest with you, I don't think that's right. I think I'm telling you wrong. But anyway, right here's what it looks like. It says... So I guess maybe maybe I am telling you right, okay? Um, I guess so. All right. Since we're here, let me show you this one here. It's called. Well, let's just go right down the list. SB settings. I guess everybody knows what SB settings is. Um, it's probably the most downloaded tweak of all and it puts this little icon on your desktop right here and you can set up an activator to open it <clears throat> it's very easy to use 
If you've never used SB settings, I can assure you that it's not hard to use at all. And you can turn things on and off in the status bar. You can set up 24-hour clock, show shows hold icons, uh, window options. You can do no animations. I mean, there's just a number of things you can do. And I, I've got that uh, brightness tweak turned on and can't get this uh, SB settings to come up anyway. But uh, that's free also. Uh, a new free tweak is called App Mosaic. And that's the icon right here. What App Mosaic does is it categorizes the top 200 free and the top 200 paid applications. And it puts them all on one screen. And you can tap on whatever it is you're wanting. And I guess since I'm in airplane mode, it's not op opening it up for some reason. But let me turn that off so we can... It so I can show you what it looks like okay because that's gonna have everything screwed up okay let's try it it's loading now okay you can see right here at the top top paid top free and it's trying to load I don't know why mm -hmm. there it goes okay now say I want to download this one here the little black camera app that's called Vidi. it shows them at the bottom you tap on them here but when you tap on it it won't download it tells you what they are down here at the bottom and then if you want it then you tap at the bottom and it takes you to the app store it's free app mosaic cool way to get free apps up next is called Wii Toolbox Wii Toolbox is one I think I got confused a while ago with the uh, right here's Wii Toolbox, right here. It's this little slider right here, and I've got everything all messed up for some reason. I I've got so many tweaks on my phone right now, trying to get everything done at one time that it's jamming up. But anyway, right here's the Wii Toolbox, and you can configure it under the Settings menu. Scroll down to Wii Toolbox, and you can select eight different things to have in the toolbox, and they range from a new tweet, Facebook, new text, make phone call, take photo or video, turn on LED flash, that's cool to have on there at night, upload to pasty, and power on in safe mode. Um, I, I use this tweet quite a bit. I really like it. Okay. Up next is called Side Delete, and what Side Delete is, it's just a easy way to delete applications directly from the Springboard. Uh, if you don't have Side Delete installed, you'll have to go under the Manage tab under Cydia to remove Cydia applications. Well, with Side Delete, you don't have to. It puts the little X right on the application, and you just tap it. And if I want to remove music, I just tap delete and music is gone that quick. Okay? Hit the home button and it's back up. Up next, Icon Rotator. This is a free application from the Ryan Patriots repo. You'll have to have a different repo and I'll have it in the description before you can download this. It's from the Ryan Patriots repo, and it's called Icon Rotator, okay? I hope that didn't get my camera out of adjustment. All right. Now, Curiosa is a new one that just come out, and what Curiosa does is if you had a update that needed to be updated from Cydia, it would put it right in your notification center. All right, and you can configure Curiosa under the settings menu, and you can have it to automatic refresh right after a respring, which is what I do, or you can manually set an activator to have it refresh anytime you want to. If you want to set an activator, say, when you double tap the home button, it will automatically 
search to see if any of your Cydia applications need updated. And if they do, it'll give you a little notification and then you can update them. Pretty cool tweak. It's free. All these are free. Uh, the next one is called Zeppelin. It's probably my all-time favorite free tw uh, Cydia tweak of all, of all times for the free ones. And right up here in the status bar, if you see where it says iPhone Captain, okay, if you like that, you can download it free at the Mod My Eye repo. And that's where you can find Zeppelin also. And all you got to do is insert any of these uh, different logos that you want to put in there i have a real cool looking red white and blue iphone that goes with my logo and if you like it you can download it at my my i at the my my i repo also it's free too but that tweak is called zeppelin and it lets you change your um logos in the status bar okay next is called colored knob and colored knob, what it does is it lets you change the color of the slider right here. It does an awesome job too, guys. This this little tweak here really does good. There's been some that just came out trying to take its place, but I can assure you this one here is the way to go. I've tried them all. Alright, and what you can do is you can change the color simply by going to colored knob and you see you got several different colors let's turn it to red you don't have to respring you simply can just now it's red okay see how cool that is i really like that tweak it's called colored knob up next is called we space notifications and what it does is it puts these little pages of your applications right on right on your right in your notification center. So on page three, that's what all my apps look like on page three. And say if there was an application I wanted on page three, all I'd have to do is tap that page and it would take me directly to it from the notification center. So it's a pretty cool tweak. Up next is called Speed Intensifier, and this tweak was very, very popular when it first came out, and people still using it today. It allows you to increase or decrease your animation speed, and I've got mine set as fast as it will go, and you probably have noticed that whenever I open something, that it opens very fast, okay? So let's go back here. I'm trying to get a phone call and I don't want to get it right now. Alright, but anyway, you see how fast my Safari opens? Everything is, is opening real fast. Alright. Stocks, see how fast everything opens? Okay, up next is called Double At. And what Double At does is it lets you put in a email or a password or anything you want to put in the in this spot here. And when you want to write that, all you have to do is hit the at symbol twice real fast. And it automatically puts your email in. It works awesome. I use it every day. SMS timestamp is next. What it does is it puts a timestamp on all of your, well, I've got uh, right here. You can see this. Right here you can see if I send something right now to myself, it'll put the time April 25th. 2.40 p.m. It, st it stamps it. It's real good to have that if you send somebody a text and you want to go back and see when you send it to them. It's real nice to have that. Up next is 360 Mobile. 360 Mobile is a way to block calls if you don't want to if you don't want them to come in. Right here, 
it puts a little green icon on your on your uh, you can block different calls you can block messages text messages uh, you can you can set anti-theft alarms for your phone if somebody tries to open it then you can make an alarm go off Okay, I don't know why it didn't go off. Anyway, it didn't go off, but I was going to show you what that was like. But that's a real cool tweak, and it's free. Okay, during the video, you've probably seen me hitting this little button here to lock my phone instead of having to hit the sleep button up here at the top. All right, if you like that, you can get it free. It's called Quick Lock 2, and it's free. Last but not least, it's called We Close Apps. And what it does is it puts this little... Uh, you it puts this little slider on your... You can, you can close your apps by hitting that slider. All right? We close right here. You can move it to the right to kill the apps or close the apps or kill the background, kill background all. Or you can uh, auto dismiss and you can kill the now what's playing if you don't want to. Uh, if you want it to turn the music off or something, the iPod, you can turn this on. Uh, if you want to slide it to the left to do something different, you can set it maybe to to just close the app that you're in. So, you know, that's how that works. It puts a little slider on there. And if I wanted to close all my apps, I would simply just slide it to the right. Now, when I open up App Switcher, you see there's nothing here in the bottom open. All right, guys, those are some 20 awesome apps. Check them out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Come over to iPhoneCaptain.com. Don't forget, like I said, to hit that subscribe and keep coming back.